It's finally 2023 and if you're a young professional and don't know where to live in Los Angeles, there are so many different little areas and locations that you might get overwhelmed. You might think maybe I want to live on the west side, maybe I want to go to downtown. There are just so much going on here in Los Angeles depending on your commute, depending on where your friends live, your family. But in this video, I'm going to go over the five best areas to live if you are a young professional in Los Angeles. By the way guys, my name is Darren Kriz. If you're new on this channel, I'm a local real estate agent and native Angelino. My team and I help people every single day buy, sell, and invest in property here in the greater LA area. So reach out to us down in the description below, but let's get into this one in no particular order. The first one is Beverly Grove. So all five of these areas on this list are based off personal preference as well as young adults being from just graduating college, say 23 years old up to 33 still a young single bachelor bachelorette here in the area and i've spent a lot of time in all of these locations so i know from personal experience as well not just googling on niche.com or whatever it may be but first off beverly grove so beverly grove is probably the most central location in los angeles in the middle of the city, central LA. It's called Beverly Grove because it's right between Beverly Hills and the Grove. The Grove being one of the largest outdoor shopping centers in Los Angeles. You got everything there from a bunch of nice restaurants to an Apple store. You got a Barnes and Noble bookstore. You got a really huge Christmas tree during the Christmas time. I think it's still out there right now, even though we're in January, but Beverly Grove might be one of the most walkable areas in all of Los Angeles. I know they say some parts of West Hollywood might be walkable. But Beverly Grove is even more walkable because it's on the flat part, whereas West Hollywood, if you're trying to go up to Sunset, you're gonna have a pretty steep walk ahead of you. That's not gonna be easy. It might be better for the hikers to go on that walk up to Sunset. But Beverly Grove, let's say it's right between 3rd Street and Beverly Boulevard. You can walk from the Beverly Center all the way to the Grove. It's about a mile between, and there are a lot of apartments, a lot of residential houses as well in that little subsection between the Beverly Center and the Grove. So it's easy to walk to the mall. You also have 3rd Street where there are a bunch of nice and very popular restaurants. You got Berries, Toca Madera. Toca Madera is in a few rap songs as well. So these are some of the more popular restaurants here in Beverly Grove. Also on La Cienega, you have the Nice Guy, which is a very popular restaurant. And as you keep going up La Cienega, you have more of the higher end restaurants. But even though Beverly Grove might be between a couple high-end areas in LA, it's still not the most expensive part. There are apartments that will cost, can cost you about $1,500 per room if you're gonna be renting out. As far as houses go, or condos, you're gonna have to pay about 1.5 on the lower end. You can get a nicer condo for 1.5 million, but it'll go up to the $4 million range for a nice, newer, modern home in the streets of Beverly Grove. But another thing I like about Beverly Grove is that if you are living in one of those neighborhoods, it doesn't feel like you're in the middle of the city, even though you can walk a couple blocks and then you're right in the middle of the city where everything's happening. You got all these bars and restaurants on Third Street that you can see the people out and about. But if you wanna stay quiet, cozy, and peaceful in your residential neighborhood, you can just stay on the streets. There are sidewalks. There are always people walking their dogs along the streets of Beverly Grove. But the only downfall to Beverly Grove is if you have to commute to the west side or the valley, you are pretty much 20 minutes away, 15, 20 minutes away from the closest freeway. So the 405 is a bit of a ways, the 10 is a bit of a ways, or you go up Laurel Canyon to the valley. So Beverly Grove, although it's super central, it is a little bit of a tougher situation if you're gonna be commuting anywhere. But let's go to the next one on this list, and I have Sawtell. Now Sawtell is a very small area just west of the 405 and just south of Brentwood. A lot of people confuse Brentwood for Sawtell, the southern part of Brentwood at least. But Sawtell has a lot of new apartment buildings and a few new residential homes as well in the Sawtell area. One thing they're well known for is Japantown. They have a sushi row over in Sawtell where you're gonna get about a dozen sushi restaurants or so. I still need to try at least a few of them myself. I've been to a couple of them. I'm a big sushi fan, but I have to hit more of those spots over in Sawtell. And, and even though it's basically Brentwood, it is a little less expensive, a little more affordable for a young adult. It is also in the area where there's a lot of things happening. You're super close to Brentwood and you're super close to Santa Monica too. It's about a 10 minute drive to the beach to Santa Monica where you're gonna have a lot more younger people living, being over in the west side, being near the 405. It's also easy to commute up to the valley or down to LAX or wherever you might need to go. It's also about 10 minutes away from West Hollywood, Beverly Hills, if you wanna experience the nightlife over there. 
So it's pretty much smack dab in the middle of West Hollywood, Santa Monica. So if you need to get to any of these areas and just live life as a young adult in LA, Sautel is super central and a great neighborhood for you to do that. Next on the list is Los Feliz or Los Feliz. People say it different ways over here. I don't discriminate toward the way you say Los Feliz, Los Feliz, but it's located just east of Hollywood on the East Hollywood side obviously. It's known for being a little more trendy, a little more artsy, all that whole entire east side Hollywood area where you have Los Feliz, Silver Lake, and Echo Park. It's pretty artsy, but it's also a younger crowd. I know a lot of people that live over there like the Hollywood vibe and the more low-key Los Angeles vibe than if you're over on the west side where things are happening a little bit more. There's more of the LA lifestyle per se, but Los Feliz is home to a lot of the best restaurants as well. One of my favorite restaurants for breakfast tacos is Home State, right on Sunset in Los Feliz. Actually, a lot of great, Cafe Los Feliz also has some of the best breakfast burritos. I'm a big breakfast fan, so if you need any breakfast recommendations, I got you here in Los Angeles, and I've commuted to Los Feliz quite a few times just to grab some good breakfast. But it's also very close to the 101 freeway. You can get to downtown pretty easily. You can get up to the valley very easily. It's in a great central location, not too far out of the way from really anything. And there are a lot of residential homes in Los Feliz and a lot of smaller, not maybe newer apartment buildings per se, but a lot of Spanish and affordable areas to live. But overall, if the artsy, trendy East Hollywood vibe is your thing, then that might be for you. Okay, number four on the list, four best areas to live as a young adult, young professional, would be Studio City. Now Studio City, it's in the San Fernando Valley, which means it could be a little hotter in the summers, like 10 degrees hotter than if you're living on the west side or in central LA. But when it comes to location, when it comes to affordability, Studio City might be the best because it is right next to the 101 freeway, the 170 as well, you're right next to North Hollywood, and Hollywood is about a five, 10 minute drive over the hill. Studio City, since it is in the valley, it's gonna be a little bit cheaper for you to own. There are a lot of celebrities that have owned real estate in Studio City in the more expensive parts for years and years, and those have appreciated tremendously. So I'm sure you've heard about a lot of well-known people owning real estate in Studio City. And a lot of younger people, when they first move to LA, they might settle down in Studio City at first because it is more affordable for them to live in LA, but still be pretty close to everything and close to the freeways so you can commute around very easy. A good thing about Studio City is that there are a lot of newer buildings, new apartment buildings, and a lot of new construction going on in the residential homes. So there's something for everyone really, especially they are gearing toward the younger demographic, more of the young adults in their late 20s to early 30s as well as on Ventura Boulevard, you have a lot of bars and restaurants that on the weekdays are always pretty lively, a lot of nice sports bars. You got Rocco's, you got the Sherman, you got the Woodman, a lot between the Studio City, Sherman Oaks areas. But if West Hollywood is for you, go down Laurel Canyon, go down the 101 and you still get the more of the LA nightlife scene down there. Okay, last but not least on this list, this might be number one in my personal opinion, but I am going to go with Ocean Park. So Ocean Park is located in Santa Monica. It's a part of Santa Monica, just south of the downtown Santa Monica area, the pier, the more touristy areas of Santa Monica where you have Third Street Promenade and the mall. But Ocean Park is more for the locals of Santa Monica. There are a lot of nice duplexes, triplexes that have been remodeled as of late with maybe you get a little yard over in the residential parts of Ocean Park. And there are a lot of young people that I know that live in West Hollywood, that live in the Valley, that will go to Ocean Park on the weekends just to hang out because you have the the younger crowd hanging out on Main Street. On Main Street is where you have a bunch of bars for the young adults, the young professionals from age 21 even to the early 30s that are going to several bars on Main Street. You got Jameson, Ashland Hill, Circle Bar, The Victorian, all these very popular nightlife spots with lines on the weekends for the younger crowd. If you're trying to go out, you're trying to meet people, or if you wanna to go to nice restaurants, you have that as well on Main Street too. But as you go inland, the streets tend to go up, so you get some nice views from a little bit of the smaller residential homes and apartments, condos. There's a big mix of a lot as you keep going inland from Ocean Park, which is also cool because it adds character to the neighborhoods as well. 
And it's in a great location because you can almost walk to Venice, you can also walk up to the heart of Santa Monica if you want to, or go down to Marina del Rey where it's a bit more quiet, there's more of an older crowd, but also a mix of an old and young crowd in Marina del Rey with all the nice high rises they have down there. But in my opinion, if you want to live anywhere, I mean Ocean Park, that's where you're gonna see things happen a bunch, but also be in a nice residential area. Now it's not the cheapest part of town, it is gonna be pretty expensive because you are near the beach, you're near the ocean, the closer you get to the water, obviously, it will be more expensive, but if you can afford it, maybe give Ocean Park a try. But if you guys have any other questions at all regarding any of these specific areas, maybe another area in Los Angeles that you're thinking of moving, that you are curious about, that you have no idea what's going on over there, let me know. I'm happy to answer any questions. You can reach out to me down in the description. Shoot me an email. You can even shoot me a text. That's perfectly fine. I'm going to be posting a lot more of these on the channel, teaching you about all things LA, as well as showing you what you can afford, what you can buy. Check out some of my other videos. Click on this video right there or right there. Also subscribe for weekly LA videos. Like I said, I'm a realtor out here. I'm helping people every day. My team and I buy, sell, and invest in LA. It's 2023, guys. Let's make it a great year. See you on the next one.